how to take care of your mind and body to ensure that you're performing at your peak day in and day out. In this course, we explore tips and tricks to ensure that you're performing at the top of your game every day without burning out. I hope that you'll join me on this journey and come out of it with some actionable items to improve your daily life. My name is Olivier. I'm a product manager down in Melbourne, Australia. I hope to see you on the other side so we can take this journey of avoiding burnouts and becoming a high performer together. After going through this class together, I'd wish for you to pick up three things that you'll apply to your life from this day onwards. Write them down and post them here. Try to stick to them for one month. And if you can, come back here in one month and comment on how those three things has improved your well-being and allow you to avoid burnout throughout the month. First and foremost, let's talk about getting a good night's sleep. There was a time where getting the least amount of sleep possible, pushing through work and talking about how little sleep you got was this sort of status signaling. However, new research shows that we perform at our best after having a good seven to nine hours of sleep. So we should try and prioritize sleep. To do so, take the time to make your bed cozy. Ensure your bedroom is comfortable, quiet, dark and cool, specifically between 15 to 19 degrees Celsius. If you have it, get rid of the bad habit of doing work in bed, playing on your phone or watching TV. You want your brain to feel strong associations with lying in bed and feeling relaxed and sleepy. Avoid bright screens at least one hour before bed as it tricks your brain in thinking it's still daytime and suppresses melatonin production, which is a hormone that tells your body that it's actually nighttime. Maybe have a wind down routine, take a shower, have some herbal tea, and remember, no caffeine after 2 p.m. as it stays in your bloodstream for a long time, which might badly impact your sleep. Avoid heavy food at least three hours before bed so your body doesn't have to work hard on your digestion while you are trying to sleep. Last but not least, to encourage good sleep over time, ensure that you're waking up at the same time every day, as it will help your circadian rhythm, which in turn will help you have better sleep at night. Is your thinking feeling fuzzy in the afternoon? Well, take a nap. The head feels clearer after waking up from a nap. Naps should, however, be taken before 2 p.m. according to sleepfoundation.com. Ensure that your nap is between the optimal nap time of 10 to 30 minutes so that it does not impact your nightly sleep routine. On that note, sleep tight and do not let the bed bugs bite. Breathe. Breath is literally life. Often, when we stress and have been trying to focus the whole day, our breathing pattern might not have the right rhythm. Example, if a person gets anxious from stress, they may start to take small, shallow breaths, as opposed to smooth, steady, and controlled breaths. To avoid this, take a time out at intervals in the day to consciously ensure that you are breathing the right way. How, I hear you ask. Work on a Pomodoro pattern and do some focused breathing to relax once the alarm goes off. Try some box breathing. Inhale for a count of four. Pause for a count of four. Exhale for a count of four. Pause for a count of four and inhale for a count of four. And to the cycle all over again. It goes like this. And you just repeat the cycle over and over. If you cannot do four, go up to a count that you feel comfortable with as a start. It could be two or three, 
Another good one is the physiological sigh breathing technique, which I first heard of from Andrew Huberman Lab podcast by Dr. Andrew Huberman. To perform the physiological sigh, inhale a big breath in. When you cannot inhale any further, draw in another quick inhale. Then, slow sigh exhale until you feel your lungs empty out. It goes like this. One, two, three of those physiological sigh bring level of stress down very quickly and put you in a calm state. Give it a try. It's a tool you can use anytime. Although I haven't tried it myself, meditation and the right breathing pattern while doing so is all the rage today. Maybe try it and leave your experience in the comments. What I have tried though, is sitting in an easy seat position on the floor after a run and listening to thunderstorm noise, ensuring that I'm breathing in and out of my nose. This does wonders in calming you down and relaxing you. The track that I use is Storm Weather Noise by Sleep Therapy on Spotify. Give it a try. Last but not least, take a yoga class live or on YouTube. There are even 15 to 20 minutes once if you are pressed for time. Some of them will elevate your heartbeat a little. A lot of them will have guided breathing exercise while you are flowing through the process. Enjoy and namaste. Let's get outside. When did you last get outside? Going for a gentle walk is a great way to calm yourself. This physical activity releases endorphins, a chemical produced by the body that makes you feel good, promotes relaxation and improves your mood. Try to go for a 15 to 20 minute walk every day. Forward movement heals. Use some of your lunch break time to go outside and take a walk. Catching some sunlight on your skin will also give you a good dose of vitamin D. Of course, please wear the right sunscreen depending on which country you're in and what the season is. Some research shows that vitamin D regulates mood and reduces depression. So put on your sneakers and go catch some sunlight and fresh air with a daily 20 minute walk. All right. I'll see you out there. Take a break from work. Take a day off. Take a mental health day to de-stress and recharge your batteries. In order to be productive, mind and body health needs to be maintained. According to a UK survey, in order to avoid burnout from work or daily stresses taking a toll, you should take a vacation or a day off for every 62 days that you work for. Otherwise, you increase your chance of growing anxious, aggressive, or physically ill. Taking some time off is key to prioritizing your mental health. So, have you been working for more than two months without a break? Go to your leave portal and schedule that day off. Are you hunched over your computer the whole day? Do you have restricted movement at your working station. Being in the same position for a long time makes us hold stress in our muscles and stiffens them over time, which could lead to repetitive strain injuries. So consider taking a break and doing some light stretches for 15 minutes at various time in the day. The internet is packed with info on how to do stretches. Of course, take it easy. Start at a level that's right for you. And as always, this course is for informational purposes only. Please see your physician before performing any activities that could be considered strenuous for you. Does your body feel tight? And do you have restricted movement? Get a sport massage or get a foam roller and use it a couple of times a week for trigger point releases. You are born in a time of technological advancement. These days, there are self-massage guns, new wonders. Take mini breaks throughout your day and indulge in some self-massage with a massage gun like the Theragun. Highly recommended. Enjoy. If you have too many thoughts, write them down and see your mind relax. Keep a notepad next to your bed 
if you think too much while trying to sleep. Write those things that are cluttering your mind and you need to follow up on in that notepad in a checklist format. Then dedicate some time in the coming days to follow up on those items to be done. Unburdening your mind from these recurring thoughts and having them on paper relaxes your cognitive load. Enjoy. Let's try and drink plenty of water every day. Browsing the internet, I stumbled on the water drinking guidelines, which were 2.7 liters per day for women and 3.7 liters per day for men. That is, if you're not doing extraneous activities, and of course, more if you are. Dehydration may be giving you fatigue, changes in mood, and decreased concentration without you realizing it. I know you've heard it before, but let's try having a healthy diet. It'll support you in having a healthy immune system and give you that extra boost of energy you'll need when coping with stressful situations. You would have heard it all over the media channels these days. Ensure you're eating healthy fats such as omega-3, ensure you're eating your vegetables, and a Mediterranean diet might be best for you. Advice worth following to impact your life in a positive way and decrease your stress levels. Of course, disclaimer, I am not a medical practitioner and this content is for informational purposes only. It is not intended to be a substitute for professional medical advice and should not be relied on as health or personal advice. So, please consult your doctor before changing your diet and for any advice on your health. Take stress reduction to the next level with exercise. If you're not used to exercising, maybe start with incorporating a 15 to 20 minute walk as part of your daily routine. Then, at some point, after you've had the daily routine for a while, maybe it changes to a light jog until the jog changes to a cross country or marathon run over time. A run or physical activities in general produces chemicals in your body that provide short-term feelings of reduced stress and calm. Start slowly and build up your capabilities over time. Try different exercises. Swimming is another good one. It has low impact on your joints. Or sign up for a gym to put on some muscles. Improve your posture, find a new community of friends, and have some more stress reduction by making your exercise session social and fun. Once again, this content is for informational purposes only. It is not intended to be a substitute for professional medical advice and should not be relied on as health or personal advice. So please consult your doctor before trying to perform any exercise that might impact your health. All right, friends, great work in making it so far to learn about all these stress relief tips that will hopefully impact your life in a positive way. Take it one day at a time. Sometimes, when a workday is tough, there is no need to think about the future. Just focus on getting through today. Look forward to something after this workday. Example, going for a walk, catching up with loved ones, and remember, this too shall pass. Tomorrow is a brand new day. On that note, my friends, cheers to a great life worth living. And until next time. Oh, hang on there. Don't forget to take three actions that you will implement in your life from today onwards to avoid burnouts and become that high performer that you wish for. All right, my friend, take care. <laughs>